I think we're finally going to destroy Samaria here in the beginning of this episode. I don't know the ramifications of, uh, of what's about to happen because people might be really pissed off. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit worried to, to be real with y'all, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. I mean, I'm still terrified of Scythia. She, uh, she seems like she wants to come after me again too. So that doesn't make things much better. Uh, I'm going to build a lot more spearmen, some anti-cav units, because obviously that's all Tamiris builds is horses and things like that. Now over the break, uh, I have pressed the campaign a little bit. Arabia went to war with me. It wasn't very scary. Uh, and he peaced out with me for a lot of money. <laughs> A lot of money, oh, the AI needs to stop doing that. That's not good, but obviously I need as much help as I can get, so that is gonna be the plan. So I, yeah, peaced out with him, and he's giving me like 70 gold per turn or something ridiculous like that. The thing is, Arabia has his Mamluks, so if he were to declare war on me, maybe a, maybe 10 or 20 turns later, when he had like his entire army as Mamluks, then yeah, he probably could have crushed me, because remember, those are, this, those are basically, I think, the best unique unit in the game for the AI to control, because they always heal. They heal every turn, no matter what. Those are very hard units to stop. So yeah, building a lot of anti-cav units is going to be really important. Anyways, alright, so let's go ahead and uh, declare a surprise war. Yep, get a moderate penalty. Actually, well, yeah, it actually shouldn't be bad, right? Isn't it always a moderate penalty, since I'm Persia? Persia always gets to do that? Ooh, yeah. Gandhi's not going to like that very much. Actually, you know what? Tamaris is going to pop up too, huh? Yep, of course she is. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she? Okay, loyalty is reward. Yeah, 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 whatever. I don't trust you. All right, let's talk about loyalty here for a second, which you right here. All right, uh, so let's... I'm going to settle another city. I, w I, I just had to commit to it. I know this is going to be kind of a weird game as Persia, uh, settling this far up north, but uh, I just had to. I got to cut them off because I should have gotten a city over the course of the last, like, 40 turns. I probably should have found a way to get a city, and uh, I couldn't do it, so that's kind of an issue. Do I want the, uh, oh, do I want to settle here just for the housing? Uh, I will no longer have access to the deer. I don't know what's over here, so I guess I can take the time out. Oh, it's just a big-ass desert. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna have to just go with the, the lack of housing, probably. All right, so we declared war on, uh, on Gilgi. Let's go ahead and focus on this, so it's still not going to be easy to take out these war carts. Pretty insane that it's 580 AD and these things are still tough to take down. So that's not very fun. Luckily, I should be able to defend myself. This unit should be fine inside of the hill and forest. That's a def that's you know pretty defensive terrain. As long as we can kill this guy now, that's all I care about. We've got multiple shots that we can take at him. Come on, catapult! Please get the job done. Nice job, little buddy. All right, now I can attack with my crossbowmen, which are much stronger, actually. I don't even like these immortals, to be honest. This unique unit, if I'm going to be real, kind of sucks. All right, uh, so I'm going to attack there. I'm going to move up with the knight. And then uh, uh, he's not going to be able to strike. I've got a catapult healing. I do have a crossbowman. I'm not going to be able to really use this crossbowman. I should probably just send him back, just in case Tamiris comes after me. I don't know when our peace treaty is up. Ooh, I'm a little worried, honestly. I don't want to fight her. I really, of course, he thinks I'm a warmonger. Um, all right, we're okay. Did he kill himself? I think, I think someone might have killed himself. Yeah, because he had two. I think he did. All right, so she, she just announced me. I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of freaked out because she's screaming at my face. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> hold up, girl. It's all good. Calm down. All right. Do I, I don't know. I don't have walls here, right? Yeah, I don't think so. No, ancient walls. I do have walls. I really need an encampment. I really need the encampment. I've got a lot more money. What I've been trying to do is purchase more tiles now that I have more money. And uh, I've got so much money that I don't really know what to do with it. So yeah, a really easy tile for me to purchase would be this sheep. That that should help out a lot. Especially for a city like this that's yeah not doing as well. So boom, sheep there. Probably purchase a builder in, builder in Sparta. I've got one builder with one action, but... Yeah, that's not enough. I'll eventually get the gems. I already have access to a gem. And I think I'm trading with uh, with Alexander. I know, of all people, I'm trading an excess amenity uh, with Alexander. Okay, okay. Uh, so let's focus. I've got a harbor coming too. I'll probably purchase a builder with the money that I have, the extra money. Okay, so we want to kill this guy. For sure. What might be even better is if I kill him with... Oh, I can't. You know what? Yeah, I might be able to just use these two immortals back here. Might be a little bit better. Wow, you guys suck. Well, then I should be able to move here, then get the kill. Get the catapult ready to go. 
Ooh. Um, yeah, this isn't a good position. I think I might need to move you here. That's a risky move. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's move you there. I'm not going to move my catapult just yet. I think we should be just fine. I'm worried about the catapult taking a shot from the pikemen, obviously. Okay, well, you guys hit. You guys hit. I might as well start hitting the city. Because I've got this catapult still healing. So, let's go ahead and just start hitting the city. And I could technically go over the walls and I could start hitting with this knight. I wish I had another knight. Alright, I'm going to scoot over. I'm going to go this way to make some more room for the next turn. Yeah, that sounds good. That, that sounds good. Alright. And what technology are we on? I don't even know. Uh, okay, so we haven't really been boosting much things. Uh, earn a great scientist. I don't know if I can do that. Eventually, I'll be able to... Man, I need to work on... Holy crap, I need to work on science. Science is clearly an issue. Alright, let's go ahead and go education so I can start building universities. Build more campuses. This needs to start happening. Oh my gosh. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to fall behind. I don't even want to check my science right now. Should I just put him there? I'm going to take a risk and put him there. Oh, and he gets to hit right now. Okay. Maybe it's not a horrible decision. At least he'll be able to hit once. Ooh. No. No, don't do it. Not yet. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Let's send you back this way. So it looks like I'm going to have to just take the uh, the lack of housing. I think I'll scoot over one. Yeah, I think I'll scoot over here and take this. And then this is a nice mountain region. So, you know, we can probably put a nice campus here. Boom. Cool. And then uh, I guess I'll go with a monument. Quick monument. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't want to put him right in the middle of the desert. And then he'd, you know, he'd lose access to a lot of those resources, so I think it's a good idea. Alright, so you're going to need to skip your turn because freaking India is here. How much are... I think builders are costing about 240 so I think I need to wait a few turns before I can purchase a builder. He did get hit, but it wasn't by the pikemen. Alright, I'll take that. People settle too close. Yeah, I don't really care. Ah, uh, goodbye, China. China is going to be a long-term enemy, though. I didn't realize that, but... China could be one of those long-term enemies for sure. All right, so let's just hit the catapult. Let's hit with the catapult first. Seems like the obvious choice. My immortals don't really do anything, so I might as well take out the scout. I feel like, yeah, you might as well. I don't have anything else but immortals, so let's just scoot him up. We want to get, we want to get the catapult ready, so I'm going to scoot you up, scoot you up. Perfect, so you can hit now. Oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, you don't have a you don't have an attack. That's that's okay. I'll I'll hit with the crossbowman. And I think that's it. I don't think we're gonna be able to move these guys around too much. Might even want to send this guy back because we don't need him anymore. Yeah, I think I will. Ooh, this guy got upgraded to a pikeman. No longer a spearman. Probably a, a fine idea. That's probably fine. And no, I'm gonna wait another turn. Do we need the battering ram? Would that help us at all? No, I don't think it would. I mean, I could try. No, I don't think I can move anyways. I need more amenities. What the hell? Oh, should we just go after this? Get some more gold? Yeah, why not? All right, let's do it. Pillage trade route, plunder route, bam, 100 golds. Yeah, good deal. Good deal. Okay. And uh, can I purchase a... No, can't purchase a builder. I'm already at my max limit for traders. So that is okay. Maybe I'll put you at least here along the coast. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and get the... I think the iron online would be a little bit more important. You guys stay there to protect that city. And you should probably stay there too. We need to send the other crossbowman up here. Actually, the crossbowman does need to protect this city. I don't think... I don't know where China is. But I don't think China's coming. Well, they are denouncing me. <laughs> they are denouncing me, so that's not good. But I don't think they'd come this way. I really don't know. I need to finish this encampment as soon as possible. Okay, so you know what? I can build the... I can build a builder now. Purchase a builder now. Let's do it. And I'm going to purchase it in this city for a reason. Because I think finding a way to get it more production, more hammers, is more important. Because when he finishes the encampment, this city is going to be a lot more safe. I can much easier, easily, reinforce this city with units. So I think that's going to be the plan there. Alright, let's do the catapults first. Oh, we're not... Oh, wow, we still haven't... Uh... Sieged you out yet? Like it's still... How is that possible? Alright, well, either way, I'm gonna just... 
hit with all my ranged attacks and see what happens. Do you have any more, uh, any more car caravans, cargo ships, whatever? <laughs> Traders, I guess. I don't know. Civ 5, too much Civ 5, apparently. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Let's speed this up a little bit here, Drew. I don't think that scout's going to hurt us. And I'm going to send you up here, too, because I'm a little paranoid. You could stay there. Actually, go back into the city. It's fine. Yeah, go back to the city. You fortify. Let's go ahead and get up another iron mine. So we're going to have tons of iron. I could purchase this tile if I wanted to. I think I'd rather purchase the gems, though. Ooh. Iron for dyes, which we actually need. And for... Okay, that's a good deal. I will take that deal. Even if it, even if it means open borders, that's fine, I guess. Which it is nice that we're in the middle of the uh, the world. So open borders is actually kind of a big deal for a lot of the eastern and western nations in the old world. Because they, they pretty much have to pass through our territory to get anywhere. Okay, let's get the kill and go. Let's go home. Because I'm very worried about what might be about to happen. Okay, let's do a hit there, hit there. Let's just guarantee the, the kill. Boom. Had another mortal attack, but that's okay. And you're dead. So now let's figure out what the AIs are going to do. How pissed are they going to be? Your knowledge of military science has advanced. All right, that's good. We needed to boost something. It's been a while. Keep city, obviously. And uh, we need a campus. Yes. So perfect. There's nothing here. I'm going to build it right there. And let's start repairing things. So I'm going to repair the granary. How's the city? Looks like an okay city. It's got, it's got some floodplains. I mean, I'm looking at food growth, basically, because the, my capital city sucks in terms of food growth. Yeah, let's start giving out some promotions. That's fine. And let's spread it out. Let's just plan for the invasion of... I think Tamaris is coming after me no matter what. Arabia might too, though, so that's the scary thing. All right, what do we need to improve? I've improved the wheat, the rice, this gems. These gems are really good. I might want to purchase these gems here. 180, jeez. Yeah, with a lot of hammers... This is going to be a great city. It's going to be one of the better cities in the Empire. Okay, and do we still have five action? Oh, perfect. Okay, I love the builders now. Because I've got that government policy that gives me a ton of action points. Uh, and I think I'm rushing... Yeah, I'm rushing monarchy right now. Just if anyone wanted to know. Um, let's send back... We need to start protecting the capital. You know, I don't know if Arabia is going to be attacking us as much... So yeah, we have two big enemies right now. Uh, right now it's Tamiris and, and Saladin, obviously. Saladin becoming a bigger and bigger enemy as time goes by. If we were to take out these two cities, he would not be as much of a threat to us. Scythia, I don't know how we're going to take that girl out. Man, I don't know. That was going to be tough either way. Yeah, she's clearly thinking about it though. Look at this. I'm just waiting for the day. I mean, i got to make sure that my military strength stays high. So she doesn't think... She can just come in here and bully me around. All right, there goes all the denouncements. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen, but this is not Civ 5, and I've talked about this a lot. I've never, ever seen, I don't think the AI does it, the AIs will never declare a massive coalition war, which is a big, big problem. I don't know how hard that is to program. I don't know what the, uh, there's a lot of things I'm sure that the, the developers are thinking uh, when it comes to programming games. I don't really know that much. I'm just a, you know, just a dumb kid, but I think you got to bring that back from Civ 5. Coalition Wars was the scariest thing in Civ 5. You made, you know, there was always that fear that everybody was going to declare war on you. And that doesn't happen at all in Civ 6. I think that's a big issue. So all these announcements don't, don't bother me. Worst case scenario is like two or three people declare war at one time. Not everybody. So anyways, that's my little, that's my little rant. Not even a rant, but that's my, my little piece of we got to bring that back. I mean, that could probably bring a, be a mod, but I'm thinking expansion-wise it's got to be... For the first expansion okay so did we work did we fix this yeah i think we did yeah so how are we looking now you're still focusing on food which is good and bad you're gonna grow though yeah i think we need to purchase this tile yeah that's too important and to get another amenity online i can trade with the ais a little bit more they're coming after me yep they're gonna come after me so we want to bring the immortals here i might as well give you the promotion or let everybody else heal um, the catapults can kind of just chill. Yeah, I'll put the catapult. I'll hide them in the cities. Let's send you guys forward. She's coming for us. I'm telling you. A knight will be good for defense as well. 
And then, yeah, you get a promotion. Combat strength versus land units. Defending. Let's go with defending. Yeah, let's go with defending. You guys sleep. I'm going to unchain you because I'm going to forget about that. Perfect combat strength versus fortified defenders. Defending versus ranged attacks. There we go. That way I can send you guys forward. What happened? Defeated? Yes, I defeated you. Good. And uh, melee and range. I like that. Don't do it. Not yet. Wait for my pikemen to be done. Maybe I should start purchasing more tiles over here to keep her from, be from being able to do this. Because this is scary right here. She can just walk straight into the city. That's why I should probably put this guy a little bit far forward. He's not a range unit. He's technically a melee. I've got to think of him as a melee at least. Perfect. All right. Feel much better with just that single pikeman there. Oh, we've got another one here too. Cool. Roads are finally actually uh, useful now. Okay, so housing-wise, we're doing good. Can't do anything. Yeah, this city really can't do anything except for build units, which might not be a bad thing. I do want to control something in the Caspian Sea, but I think I'm going to go with a builder. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a builder and then maybe a boat next. But because I think Scythia is going to be a long-term enemy, having the Caspian Sea... For a little bit of support, even if it's just one range boat, it's going to be, I think, tremendously helpful. So that's going to be, uh, I think, a big priority of mine. Should I keep... I should keep something here. I think I'm going to keep you here. Because the knight will probably go back. Or maybe I'll put the knight in the middle. Because I can send him, like, anywhere. Yeah. I'm going to put the catapult inside the city. This guy will probably not be there for long. This immortal is just there just in case Macedon does anything stupid. But I'm not really worried about him. Trajan versus uh, Germany. Roman Germany going at it. Okay, next turn. We've got a library coming. This encampment. Oh, you bastard. India, you gotta get out of here, man. Okay, good. So he's gone. This city is having some trouble growing, but I've got a builder coming. Okay, so boom. Let's slap this sucker down. Now you should be in a good, a much better position. Oh, what happened? Okay, well, I, I'm going to trust that you know what you're doing. Yeah, it looks like we're going after the most yield as possible. So that's down to 12 turns. A little bit better. A little bit. Um, yeah, we probably want to keep this guy here. Maybe put an immortal there. I should be careful with that placement, though. That's a pretty scary placement. I don't think I want to bring anybody else over. That's probably more than enough. Because I need to be careful. Again, those Mamluks are scary. The longer time goes by, I think Arabia would be a bigger enemy than... than Scythia. Because I've cut Scythia off. I don't think she has anywhere else to go, settling-wise. She's got to go to war with me if she wants to expand, so... I think if we just continue to expand somehow, then... We'll be okay. I can build a harbor? Where can I build a harbor? Oh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's interesting. I get two gold from that harbor as well. Anyways. Um, we built the campus. Good. What else do we need? You need extra housing for sure. We do need a theater square. Our culture sucks. Do we have any adjacency? Nope. I don't have any wonders, Drew. So, obviously, not... Entertainment complex might be a good idea since we're continuing to grow. 30 turns, though. That's a long time, man. That's a, that's a long time. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with another builder, to be honest. Although our, our shit is about to change because I'm going to get a monarch here soon. I don't know if he's going to get those five build actions, but yeah, we might as well be safe. Get, 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 with, get with the builder. Let's keep repairing stuff there. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with him like right there. Let's be pulling back a little bit. Oh, that's right. I have a crossbowman. Which is even stronger. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put you actually... We do need something strong here. Pull this guy back. Put him inside the city. Nice strong range unit. Alright, you fortify. And uh, I think that's all I want. I don't think I want to slap down farms or anything like that. Let's go ahead and improve this salt. We don't have salt in the empire, right? I don't think so. Okay, we're, we're making bank now. Ooh. I should probably take this deal. Oh, you've got plenty of sugar. All right, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take the deal. I'm going to take the deal for the extra amenities because uh, I like amenities, and that stuff's kind of scary. Peter's declared war on Tamiris. Okay, that is really good. Okay, so that is huge. Um, should have known that was going to happen too. I think it is time to go with a range boat. I think it might help us out a lot. 
And uh, should I build more of my... I guess I should build these little improvements, huh? Culture and golds? I mean, I like gold, but I don't know. Alright, well, whatever. I'll do one. I've got five actions for, with him. Bam, let's get the salt going. Nice. I'll improve the rice for this little city now, too. This is going to be, you know, a good start for a city. Salt and rice. Watch it, India. What are you doing? Who are you at war with, India? There's no barbarians on this map, so maybe he's at war with China. Oh, is that China? Yes, I think it is. All right, we have to uh, start purchasing things, Drew. What are you doing? Let's go to scout, actually. I'm going to purchase a real quick scout. And that does help us out a little bit military strength-wise. Believe it or not, I know it's not a lot, but it does help us. Because uh, we, we need to keep this strong just to make sure the AI doesn't rethink anything. Where is Tamiris? Tamiris is lower than us military strength-wise. That's huge. You know what? I'm going to sit here and wait. This could be huge to take her out. All right, do I want to keep improving this city? I think I will. I think I want to keep improving that city out to the west. And that is a great tile to work. Who's working this tile? Is it my capital or the other one? Honestly, the other city probably should work this tile, to be honest. It's so bad. Yeah, it is a bad city. Oh, it needs food, though. Yeah, you desperately need food. Maybe not. I need, Do I have an industrial zone here? I can't even remember. Yeah, I think I did build it. That's it right there, right? Grassland. Uh, yes. Okay, I was going to say. The capital is like the best industrial zone city. If I was going to have a production city, it's got to be the capital. All right, boom. Farm. Oh, I still have that movement bonus. That's why I'm able to move so far. I was kind of confused for a second there. That's kind of nice. The Persian-like movement bonus. After declaring surprise wars, that's pretty useful. It is the mark of an ed I conclude then. All right, so here we go. It's time for a monarchy government. Might not like this as much because I don't think I need military policies. I'm gonna keep the newly trained builders. We're gonna pull this up here. Um, reduces cost of. Okay, I do like the extra gold. I think that's what we want to go with, the extra gold. Or 100% campus district adjacency bonus. I don't know if we have much of that, though. But we do need to catch up in science somehow. I think I'm going to do it just because we do need some science help. Amenities with garrisoned units. I think we're fine garrison-wise. 30% production towards encampments. Yes, please. Thank you. And 50% upgrade, discount upgrade for... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Alright, boom. So this should shave off these turns. It's down to five now. Not much, but anyways. Okay, I guess I'll go with Castle since that's one of the only things I've boosted as of lately. And I probably want a different six-slot government soon, as soon as possible. Not Reform Church, probably Exploration. All right, I'm going to start off with Medieval Fairies. Is it Fairies? Fairies. I think one time I called it Fairies back in the day. That must have been pretty funny. Encampment for a city like this. Yes, that actually sounds like a fantastic idea. And I can build it faster, too. Let's just slap it right in the middle. Put it right next to the Dead Sea. I like that. That's good. Alright. Um, so we did put that there. I could use a mine. Oh, wait a second. Crabs. That gives us more food, right? More gold, actually, I think. You've got three builds left. Go here. Yeah, let's... let's what? I like to see... Okay, that's fine. Um... I want to improve that, that farm tile. It's not doing too good. India is bringing a lot of troops over here. Kind of scary. Is there any tile I can purchase for you? No. I think I'm going to go with a farm on the floodplains. Alright. Go for it. Go for it, little scout buddy. Oh, man. I've got 415 gold. I've got to purchase something new. Yeah, I should probably... Purchase something. Still three of three trade-wise. Might want to do a commercial hub somewhere. Do I have a river up here? No river. I could probably do one there. Yeah, library for sure. Let's catch up in science. I'm really worried about that. Ooh, okay. We do need to watch China. We do need to watch China. I might even want to purchase a crossbowman here if they move any further. Yeah. When are you coming? Seven turns? 
That's that's fine. I'm actually glad I did, went with another builder. There's lots of things we need to work on. Okay, let's finally improve that. Get you a little bit more there. Um, you come this way. What is this? Housing? Who needs housing? Is it just that city? China and India are getting into it, I think, which is good. Oh, okay. Oh, man, I was a little scared. I heard a sound effect. And uh, that's why I have to get, use a face cam, because I'm sure I make the stupidest faces. Whenever Scythia's face pops up, I'm always like, I'm just waiting for it, a little scared, a little worried. Okay, let's improve the sheep now, I think. Yeah, I'm going to skip your turn. We're going to improve the sheep. Anything in the middle here? Pretty sure this is just a big, massive desert, so I don't think so. I don't think there's much that we can do there. Oh, I've got to find a way to take this city back, or take this city away from Arabia. Hold on. I do need to, I do need to check here. Where is, where are they? Okay, they're 402. So we have a stronger army than they do. Now let's keep watching Scythia. Scythia's down to 200. Okay, that is some good news. Oh man, why'd you got to tempt me like that? So, uh, I need to focus more on Scythia. She needs to be my number one priority. Boom. Yes, university. Wow, you've got some... This city does have some very nice production. Alright, well, we need to go university no matter what. And now I have this boat. Perfect. I can get a nice, you know, closer view. They're dealing with barbarians as well. Alright. Okay, skip your turn. Get out of my tile, please. And then, uh, yes, I'll improve this one here. Anything here? Anything. Come on. Just any resources? Copper? Sheep? This is snow, though. This is the Himalayas I think I'm in. So, nah, I don't think I want to settle there. Two turns for this encampment. I really want another encampment for this city. Rocks in my path. That would be useful. Okay, let me see. Is there something I can... Okay, we probably should go after gunpowder. Build an armory. I haven't built an armory? I guess not. And then we can go after the bombards. That actually is a good combination. At this stage, university, we have to. Let's just see how bad it is. I really don't want to look, but... 26, 27. Number one is, I'm guessing, the Congo, like they always are. 31. So, Gandhi's only four techs ahead of me. That's not too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Okay, I'm going to stare right here. If I could just take his, take her capital, that'd be good. This is where she is. That's where... Russia's, like, right there. Wait, did you take a city? I think you might have already taken a city. That's Russia. That's Peter, I think. Or am I... Yeah, no, I... He did. He did take a city. Maybe two. Oh, boy. We need to start moving up. Okay. The problem also is... I'm, I'm gonna move in here, too. We need to take advantage of this. I, I Whatever city he goes after next, I need to move in. I can just declare a surprise war. It should be no problem. Ooh, there's some gypsum in here. Okay, finally, I made it here. All right, I'm going to start putting some pressure on her. Uh, where are my catapults? I should also move my catapults in range. I've got one there. Now, I'm going to be screwed if, if uh, Arabia comes after me. I mean, not screwed. It's just going to really suck. I'm got, I've got 700 gold, Drew. You gotta use that. You gotta use it. Maybe I should purchase a university or something. There's Russia. All right. Good. 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 Let's just watch it. Let's watch it play out. Looks like he's going after the capital first, which is better. Uh, ignore. I've got to ignore this request. They probably shouldn't let make that an option too. If we're gonna talk about more things, the developers gotta change. I don't think ignore. I I just always hit ignore this request, and that's kind of a cop out. I don't think that's a good idea. I shouldn't be able to do that. Not when they're, you're asking if your troops are passing by or whatever. Because I just do that all the time, and it does feel like cheating a little bit. Alright, so I've got three units potentially ready to go. Could maybe move this crossbowman in range, too. I completely forgot there's units back this way. Let's wait. Russia still doesn't have it yet. How big is the Russian army? Is it going higher or lower? It's going lower, so he's going to run out of steam here. But if he could just... 
if he could just do a little bit more damage to a city, obviously not take it, but, you know, do some damage to some of the walls, that might be a good idea. The problem is this encampment is in a really good position. Where are my... Okay. Here's a battering ram that I could use. Here's a siege tower. Finally, let's go with that there. I could probably just wipe her up. Just wipe her across the floor with a, a pikeman. 800 gold. Holy crap. Why is that so expensive? I'd rather go with just another catapult, I think. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with another catapult instead. Is there a way to get to uh, Gandhi's empire through the through the mountains here? Maybe. Yeah, there might be. Come on, Russia. Lazy and unworthy. Holy crap. Way to stereotype us, Saladin. That's messed up. That's a horrible thing to say. All right, good. The barbarians are still kind of a big problem. So even if Russia does stop, these barbarians are going to be... An issue. I need to set up the catapults. Ooh. Oh, why you gotta do this to me, Gandhi? He's he's looking like he's coming after me. Catapults. I don't think I want this catapult here. Yeah, I think I want to move him. Uh, catapult there. Don't do it, Gandhi. Or, not Gandhi. Saladin. I gotta start moving these guys up too. Uh, maybe I will send you back. If we're gonna move in after Scythia, we need to go after her capital. Nothing else. Nothing else really matters as much. Alright, and uh, one more build action here. I say let's throw down a mine. I've got another builder coming. Nope. You know what? I might just block you off. There's Mount Everest. I just might block this unit off, just sit right there. Alright, there, there goes the stereotyping again. Lazy and unworthy. Holy crap. That is, uh, that's a little deep, deep cuts. Did Russia peace out with them? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. Alright, good. Yeah, these barbarians are doing a, some damage here. What happened? Spy? Enemy spy captured. From the Indian Empire. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to place this guy right on the road so I can send him anywhere. Um, we probably want the battering ram with the... Where's the pikeman? Pikeman here. Okay, pull him up. We do need something to stay back and protect us from what Scythia might send after us. Where's the other one? Alright, so I've got catapults coming, but we're not ready yet. Yeah, go towards China, India. I don't want to... I don't want to deal with you. I might just need to put a crap city down just to take this territory. I wouldn't mind. Come on, barbarians. They're plundering things. Now they're going back into Russian territory. Oh, gosh. Why would I... I don't really want a path Pantheon right now. Wine, incense, cocoa. Let's see. Banana, citrus. I don't know if I have any of this stuff. Production from mines over strategic resources. That might be okay. Increases healing by 30 in your holy site district. I'm not going to build any of those. Jeez. I don't know. I guess faith from quarries. No, I'll just go production over mines with strategic resources. I've got a lot of those. Yeah, I'll do that. That's probably yeah by far the best that I could have done. In a, in a non-religious game. I don't want to play a religious game at all. So I, that's fine. Um, should I go with the university here or maybe the walls? No, I want a, I want another, yeah, I want a commercial hub. That's what, do I have anything here? No. That's just two gold. Because of the, it, because it's a lake? Is this technically a lake in this map? Yeah, I think it is. It doesn't even say coast. I guess that's a lake. I don't know. Is the, Caspian Sea, never really thought about it. It's called a sea, so maybe not. I really don't know. I probably sound very dumb right now. So the first thing we want to do is probably take out the encampment. So I'm going to start making room for catapults. So they can do their own thing. I'm going to get the battering ram in play for it too. I actually probably want to move 
switch these two around. There we go. All right, nice. And I got another builder. Um, let's purchase another tile. Let's let's purchase this tile here because this these are good tiles for this city. Now that we've got that Pantheon too, do we have it here, Eastern Orthodox? I don't even know if it spreads. How do we know when it spreads to a city? I don't even know. Does Pantheon spread anymore? I don't think they do, right? I am so confused. I don't remember what Pantheons... I know that, obviously, they don't get replaced by religions anymore like Civ Five, but... That's a good deal. I'll take it. I want to keep making a lot of money like this. I'm going to feel bad when I lose all the money that Arabia's given me. Alright, yeah, so that's fine. That commercial hub's going to take a while, though. That's the only problem. Um, okay, I'm going to come this way. Perfect. I actually want to pull this one here. These guys here. You guys come together. And then we are good. I could probably start attacking it now. I'm not going to. I'll wait a turn. I want my third catapult to be almost there. I've got a stable coming. Don't I, am I going to boost something because of that? Oh, I needed to build an armory to boost this, not a stable. Well, whatever. Ooh. Oh, you just moved the pikemen to get the... Okay. I see what you did there. I thought you just built that one. Okay, so what did I want? Uh, we need a district. The city for sure needs another district. Harbor. I don't think that's important. I think another commercial hub would be a good idea. Or a theater square. Oh, and that's not even... Yeah, you know, we get a little bit of uh, adjacency bonus. And it's just a crappy sheep tile. I'm going to do it. I'm replacing it. We need some sort of culture in this game. This is crazy. Yeah, we're going to have a tough time. I need to get these guys off the coastline. Um, do we want to attack? Ne no, next turn we attack. Probably next turn. And then I just need to... Pray that Saladin doesn't also come after us. Or else that is going to be a problem. Uh, bombards will be coming. I think I should have some money left over. And I think I can upgrade them to 50%. I've got 50% upgrades on right now. So upgrading everyone to bombards. Oh, wait. Don't I get musket men in a few turns too? I'm going to attack either way. Yeah, I'm going to attack either way. Japan, you got to get out of here, dude. You're killing me. Okay, do I want another builder? Catapults. I think we should keep building up that military. Immortal in four turns, that's going to take too long. Another crossbow might not be a bad idea. I do like the range boats. That actually might be useful. Let's do it. Yeah, I have my harbor built up here. Keep us safe from both Alexander and might be able to provide some support to another Scythian city. So that sounds good. Industrial zone. Can you build a commercial hub too? No, I'm not going to replace those tiles. Not going to do it. Um, I want one more builder, to be honest. Really would like another builder. All right, I'm going to do it. Wait, hold on. This is on the front lines. We should actually build a, an actual unit here. We need at least one more melee unit, I think. No, no, no. All those immortals are going to be upgraded. That's right. They're going to. So I'm going to need another range. I should go with the crossbowman. Or catapults. Cat. Uh, don't. I don't know. Four? We're gonna. Yeah, yeah, four, I think. I could just purchase that, though. If we wanted a fourth one, I could just purchase it. Boom. Yeah. You know what? Purchase. And I'm gonna go with a knight instead. I built the stable there, anyways. I built it for a reason. Okay, so you keep going. What's going on with our trade route situation? 8 turns, 8 turns, 13 turns. Okay. So they're almost done. Oh yeah, are we going to attack now? Uh, yeah, I think we are. I Oh, you know, you might as well wait one turn. And position that guy in the right place. Yeah. I'll wait another turn, or two. We'll see. We'll see. I actually should move the Immortal back. No, that's a good defensive unit. That's a good unit to be on the front lines, obviously. Those are... Immortals, uh, no. 
I'm going to keep a hold of my iron. Thank you very much. Even though he's the only one that likes me, surprisingly. Alexander is the only one that likes Cyrus of Persia. Huh. That's a little weird, isn't it? Nope, I will hold on to my iron. No, thank you. You denounce me, buddy. Can't denounce me and then expect that I... Whoa. Okay. I was going to say, that's Rome. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter, Drew. Oh, you think I'm a warmonger now? Y'all just wait. Y'all just wait. All right, is this... No, we have to wait one more turn, and that'll be good because I can technically upgrade... Uh, do we want... Okay, so wait a second. What am I going to do with this guy? He's got four build actions left. I need to keep him safe. Might want to send him north or something. I'll, I'll be careful with this builder. He might get stolen away. Okay, theater square, encampment, and... Boat. Apparently people liked my population. Who was that that said they liked my population? I'm surprised. Maybe I caught up population-wise. Okay, Renaissance era. Yeah, I think we want to rush to this. Too important. How much money are these going to cost? 110. Oh, we need Niter. Oh, boy. And there's only one place I know of Niter. Which is there. In the middle of this dang, we got to settle there. Well, there's two. There's two or three places with possibly Niter. Oh, God. That means we need to get a settl settler out fast. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go exploration So I can switch around the governments. Oh You moved us out of the way dang it uh, All right, I think we need to go for it now's the time to do it You can't boost. Yeah, you can't change any of this stuff up anyways. All right Yeah, I Mean I could wait one more turn and I can adjust these guys a little bit. No, I think you want to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Heavy? Why? Alright, whatever. I'm going to do it. Got to do it. Got to do it. Got to do it. What can I say? Don't be holding your heart like that, girl. You don't like me either. Okay, you declared the first war against me. You started this. You started this rivalry. So you don't blame me. Okay, so yeah, the plan now would be to go... Oh, we can hit it now? Well, this guy can at least. Hmm. Alright, that's good. Um. Did I move him already? I can move you there. Would really like open borders from Russia. How did you get a hold of this tile, Russia? Can you please tell me that? Okay, I want to be careful, but I can... Oh, that's right. We've got some movement on us. Okay, so we got to kill these units first. That's number one priority. Make sure that you don't lose these units. Or don't, yeah, kill these units at least. So, perfect crossbow that I don't need to move. There we go. Need to slowly bring this guy forward. Let's get a kill. It's not going to happen. Alright, so I'm going to move over this way. These guys basically do no damage. You're going to stay there, buddy. You're going to stay there. We'll make use of you later. You're going to stay there, too. He can't get us, right? I don't think he can get us. Well, if he does, we'll get him back. So it's fine. Okay, so then I can upgrade all these. I'm going to save my money. Actually, Oh, uh, all that, that gold is over. That's what happened. Oh, that's that sucks. Okay, so let me... Ideally, I'd put you there. I don't know if we're ready for that yet. Okay, hold on. Let me get this kill. All right, boom. So there's that kill. Let's do a hit there, hit there. Do I want to start? No. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's right. Now we're getting those that movement bonus. I don't think I can take it out now, right? Pretty sure I can't. Oh, yes. We gotta take that strike. Come on, guys. You gotta get the kill. Okay, so let me move the boat. Uh jeez. I don't want to put it there. We're gonna lose it for sure. I'm gonna move it back here. I'm gonna keep my cap catapults safe. And then I'll put you there. Alright, that's, that's good. That's good. 
Get a ton of production by going th Yeah, let's just keep going there. And you start moving the siege tower forward. Okay, this guy's done next. Is this all he has? A pikeman and a catapult? I think that might be all he has. Alright, well that's good news if that's the case. Let's take it down. Alright, boom. Boom. Uh, if I could walk in without... Let's try it. Nice. Okay, so there it goes. Um, we might as well try to kill... Oh, this guy. Yeah, my boat's not doing much. Except absorbing hits, basically. Okay, boom, get this kill. You move in. Did he go across? I think he just embarked straight across. Um, you guys, yeah, you stay back. You're kind of struggling a little bit. Man, this is all open terrain. This is great. Boom, catapults. And then we are good to go. Lighthouse. Kind of just want to do it for the extra housing. All right, let's do it. We need to be careful. Yep. He's coming after us. I think he's thinking about it. Do I want this guy's support? I might just keep him there because he can go anywhere from there. Okay, you sleep. Maybe I shouldn't put you there, there. Put you a little bit further back just to stay away from the city itself. And, um, yeah, we need to make mo room for the more important units like my catapults. I love that this is open terrain. Didn't realize that. It's all, I was so focused on the encampment, once I took that thing down, I'm realizing like, oh my gosh, this is such an easy invasion. No rough terrain, and we get that movement bonus. That's the other amazing thing. Hello, England. Thank you. Goodbye. Don't care. Alright. So let's take a hit here. I'm gonna scoot you over. You're an immortal, so you should be able to play it safe. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit this guy. He's This guy's probably going to... We're going to lose him, I think. Uh, maybe I'll scoot you up then. Nice. You still have the... Okay, I was kind of worried about that. You still have a, a move. I'm going to move you guys out. That way I can... Scoot you over. Nice. Nice. All right, good, good, good. This is going well. This is going pretty well. I'm just going to alert you. I might send you across the uh, the way. And then I've got a siege tower here to help out if we need it. This, uh, yeah, this city actually has a lot more strength than I thought it would have. It's under siege. That's good. It's not going to heal anymore. A little worried about losing an immortal. Not a big deal. Because I really don't need as many, you know, as many melee units as I'm going to have. I might lose it. Catapults. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't think I need to risk it, Drew. Just, just move him back. That's an unnecessary risk for sure. Because I've got three catapults still left. Can I land here? No. Um, should I focus on taking down these units? You need to keep healing. Yeah, go ahead and take down. Try to take down these units at least. Are you still under siege? Okay, good. So at least we got a kill. Uh, and then I will go with a commercial hub, I'm thinking, because I want more money. I don't have a good tile for that, though. Um, oh, you know what? Campus. Still not a good tile. Well, we still need to build this regardless, so... Oh, there we go. 190? Yeah, I guess that's worth it. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Okay, and then, uh... Sleep next turn. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Let's take him down. If I could take this other city, too, that would be great. Yeah, that would be some... Oh, don't die. Alright, well, if we lost something, that's fine. I was... Basically willing to take that risk, obviously. I think that's a, you know, a risk worth taking. And, uh, let's just try to walk in. Yeah, we got it. Always takes a few seconds when you take a city like that. 
Boom, there it is. Alright, so, um, I might just completely destroy Scythia over the break because they're done. They're basically done, so I think I'll, I'll destroy her over the break and we'll kind of see what happens. But, uh, anyways guys, thanks for watching. We ended up taking two capitals in this video. Really wasn't expecting that. I knew it was gonna take, we were gonna take over Samaria's capital. Did not think we were gonna destroy Tamiris. We really got lucky there with the, uh, with the Russian invasion further west. So, uh, yeah, this is some great news. Thank you for watching, dog. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>